My Oracle SOA suite runs like a dream, but when a downstream service becomes inaccessible, the upstream service continues to create new applications that fail. This creates a buildup of failed instances in the error hospital. This is a problem because I'll need to manually block the upstream applications, check when the downstream service becomes available, recover the failed instances, and allow the upstream service to start again. This takes a lot of time. Maybe you should upgrade. I'm using Oracle SOA Suite 12C release 1221. This version has a resiliency function that automatically suspends upstream endpoints if it detects the downstream endpoint isn't available. It does this after a number of failures occur within a period of time. After enabling resiliency, it's really cool that SOA Suite suspends only the upstream endpoints actively funneling data to the inaccessible downstream service. The fault instance buildup in the Air Hospital is reduced. I love the resiliency feature because SOA Suite detects when the downstream service becomes available and starts suspended upstream services and I don't have to manually perform those tasks. If there are any faulted instances, I can recover them from the error hospital. It's easy to set up. Resiliency can be configured at a global level for all composite applications and overridden for specific downstream endpoints. The types of upstream services that can be suspended include web services, JMS, advanced queuing, database, file and FTP adapters and EDN subscribers closest to the downstream endpoint. I can view suspended services and resume them through the administration web application and I can identify suspended services by searching for the word circuit breaker in the log messages window. So you're saying if I use the resiliency feature in Oracle SOA Suite 12C release 12.2.1 I can automatically suspend upstream endpoints when a downstream endpoint is not available and reduce the amount of failed instances from the error hospital that I have to recover? What a time saver! Yep. For more information, you can visit the Oracle SOA Suite product page and Oracle Learning Library resources. Thank you for watching.